genetics play a big role in hair growth. All my family members have thick, like, just a lot of hair, and it's quite long as well. And before I was natural, I had relaxed hair, and my relaxed hair was quite long. I started using natural hair products, such as shea butter. Is it shea butter or shea butter? Shea butter. Shea butter. That <coughs> started buying products with natural and raw materials in them because I feel like they're just better for your hair. And I started like researching different different oils that would help my hair and like like experimenting with different oils and stuff. And I found out that coconut oil, argan oil and cast oil help my hair a lot and they like because when I don't moisturise my hair, okay, my hair's quite dry now, so it's not really that straight. But yeah, but like, mostly the ends of my hair get really, really dry. And when the ends of your hair get really, really dry, it's bad because they start to, like, they start to, like, break off. What's it called? Split ends, four ends, yeah. But yeah, so when I don't, not that bad, but yeah, when I don't, oil the tips of my hair they go really bad it's really good to trim your hair because you get rid of the dead ends and because if you leave the dead ends or the split ends they start to like rise up your hair and then it just gets worse and worse then you're gonna have to end up cutting off more so trim your hair regularly braids braids and protective hairstyles help a lot i used to leave my hair out like all the time and then I started braiding my hair like when I was transitioning when I was transitioning transitioning I started braiding my hair uh, like well not a lot just yeah I started braiding my hair when I started transitioning and yeah that helped a lot because you're not messing around with your hair you're not touching your hair you're just leaving it to grow basically so it's just like time for your hair to grow but then don't keep your hair in braids like for time like don't keep your hair in braids for ages because it's just gonna like you need your hair to it needs time to breathe you need to let your hair breathe so don't keep your hair in braids for too long that's what i'm trying to say like take it out wash it and then you can do another protective vest out just don't keep it in for forever like i've heard people keep their braids in for like six months that's, that's a stretch like just good timing wigs as well because you'd be braiding your hair underneath not too tight obviously braiding your hair too tight is just damaging just don't braid your hair too tight but the braids underneath your wigs you'd be just wearing wigs and stuff so your hair's just in a protective hairstyle really and truly silk scarf at night silk scarf at night Wear your scarf, wear your scarf, wear your scarf. I used to not wear my headscarf at all, like when I had relaxed hair. And my hair wasn't bad, like, my hair was quite healthy. But, like, I used to have, like, the ends of my hair would go really, really dry. And, yeah, so transitioning stuff, I learned that. Um, yeah, headscarves just protect your hair at night, especially like because your pillows, like not all of my pillowcases are like silk, so like some of the like materials aren't good for my hair. So yeah, silk scarf night helps to braiding your hair at night as well, like twisting it to sleeping, then waking up and taking it out. That helps as well. I don't always do. I hardly do that. I'm not gonna lie, I hardly do that because. Yeah, when I'm tired, I just fall asleep. But it's good. I feel like most of it is genetic. I know there's like pills and stuff people take, but I don't take that. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys found that helpful. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Can, 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 can you hear me now?